Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald version. In the last episode, we caught a 15 member, being Skarmory, and made it through Route 114 and made it to Media Falls. And we saw Team Magma for the first time, and then Team Aqua came through um, with Archie. Um, so, yeah. They said to go to Mount Chimney, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. But just before we do go, I'm going to go over the rest of here. Um, I probably should have brought the encounter things here, but honestly, it's like Zuba. Uh, I think Jigglypuff might be in here, um, which is a pure normal type. I wouldn't suggest it because it doesn't really get the best moves leveling up, but it's just an annoying Pokemon like. Just learns like sleep moves and everything just to annoy the opponent. But it's not all that strong really. Uh, but over here, when you get the HM for Surf and Waterfall, you're able to get the main dragon type in this game, which we'll get over probably when we've beaten the game or when we have Waterfall or something. But for the time being, there's no point in really going over that. Anyway, here we go. And yeah. <laughs> We're all out, but while you're up here, it's like the only way you're actually able to get up is coming out of Mount, uh, not Mount, Media Falls. Um, but now I'm going to take down this guy, and yeah, see, so look, level 19 Machop. This is actually um, behind Rustboro City, remember when we got that, like, great ball before from around here? But we don't, because it's just a great ball, but yeah. The Pokemon around here in the wild are like level 6, level 4, 3, 5, 2, like, you know, not all that great, but that guy's got uh, level 17 Machop. Now, let's break this and uh, see what item we have. Um, yeah, you're going to need Rock Smash to get back as quick as possible. You could go on Mr. Briny's boat, um, but, you know, if you don't want to, then... Come the quick way, but first we're going to have to take these down. A rare Pokemon, would you like me to show you? Just have my meditation, you'll be punished for it. These two have a Meditite Zangoose. It's coming against the level 19. And a Spoink and a Survivor. With that, these two are down, the Collector and the Psychic. So, we shall continue on. And uh, with that, let's see what this item is. It's PP up. So you give that to one of your Pokemon and pick a move, and it will increase the amount of PP um, that could be used on it. So that, that could be good with like Psychic, increase from like 10 to like 11 or something. But yeah, let's uh, carry on now. All right, so to get to Mount Chimney as quick as possible, you're gonna want to reroute back through Rust Turf Tunnel. As if you just went. The first time we were at Mount Chimney, which we couldn't actually explore anything, um, then it would take quite a bit, and you have to go through a lot of grass. So that's kind of why I didn't want to go that way. So this way is actually quicker. But I'm gonna heal up real quick, and I'll be back. Right, so now we're all healed up. I will meet you over at Mount Chimney. There we go. We're at Mount Chimney now, and there we go. Team Magma have cleared through, and here we go. Capricorn is ready to go. Would you like to be on it? Uh, of course, lady. You should know. I am going to be the guy to stop Team Magma and Team Aqua. And if you know these evil teams are up here, like, why would you let a kid go up? But anyway, <laughs> with that, we have made it to Mount Chimney. Now, if you try and get out of here. You can't as Team Magma and Team Aqua are actually battling. So it's kind of like Team Aqua is actually like the good guys. No one on your side in this game. But anyway. Uh, Jamie, I should have guessed you've shown up. See for yourself what the fanatics of Team Aqua are up to. They're trying to inject the solar meteorite power into the volcano. Doing something like that will cause the volcano's eruption. Look at that. Look at that. Is it me or does Archie's Poochie and I like spazzing out more than the others? It's like... One on three, like fair play, mate. Um, but yeah, there we go. We do need to do some battles for ourselves. So here we go. These team Magma Grunts. Uh, honestly, the evil teams. Say so this is the first Pokemon game. The evil teams 
don't tend to have the highest level Pokemon. So don't feel like you're gonna be mad overpowered because when it comes to the boss, it may not be that way. Or, you know, the boss doesn't usually have the highest, but he has a lot higher than the rest uh, of the grunts and everything. Yeah, look, level 20, you know, that's not too bad um, for the levels that we've been dealing with previously to this. I probably should have just used Psychic on the Z-Bat for the guaranteed knockout. But anyway, we get the guaranteed knockout on, no uh, on Nummel instead. But yeah, another thing with the evil teams, uh, they don't they don't really like evolving their Pokemon until it's a lot lighter than they should have done. Like this Zubat, when it's a level like 25, it should be a Golbat. Well, I'm pretty sure it's like, evolves at like 22. I should know this. I use Nightwing and Heart Gold. Anyway, but yeah, like. But instead, they'll have it over the level that you can evolve it at, and they just won't evolve it, they'll just keep it as a Zubat instead of making it more challenging for you and have a goal back. But anyway, hey, hey, so you've come all the way here, but you're too late, I've already delivered the meteorite, from Meteor Rolls to the boss! This is one of the guys that was actually at Team... I don't know, I can say at Team Aqua then, but was actually at Meteor Falls at the end of the last episode. But you know what, this guy's got four Pokemon, so I'll be back with you once they're all there. Let's go and get to level 20. There we go, from all of those Pokemon, Hot Coco gets to level 23. And there we go. So I guess it is a good thing that he had four Pokemon. Just about gets Hot Coco level 23 for this fight. And uh, yep, yeah, here's the Meteorite. Doesn't really look like much of a Meteorite, kind of looks like some weird machine. Uh, yeah, it is a machine. With the meteorite on it, so there we go. Power contained in the meteorite! By applying it, its power with this machine. My chimney's volcanic activity will instantly intensify. Its energy will grow deep inside the crater. And for Huh? Were you? I heard Archie bemoaning a child who's been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you he meant. Ha! <laughs> So you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma? Now you listen. Long ago, living things use the land to live and grow. That is why land is all important. It is the cradle of all. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to do his voice for all this. Basically, yeah, it's time to fight Maxi. Okay, the boss of Team Magma. I like how both teams reverse like two or three like of their grunts and then reverse the boss right after. Like, it's usually not like that in uh, other Pokemon games. Like, you first like 40 of the guns, and then it's like, oh, here's, here, here, here's the boss. Like, you finally meet them and get to battle them and everything, but yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, honestly, I've just been spamming Body Slam on Hot Coco just because the paralysis is great and it does a lot of damage. So, you know what? Let's get ready to sweep through Maxi. Uh, we're just gonna lower our defense and get our attack and defense very high. Um, honestly, this battle will not be that bad for us. I bet none of our team members faint. I'm saying it now. <laughs> but yeah, this is the evolved form of Poochyena. It's pretty good, uh, but honestly, with its level and you probably have a fighting type attack by now, it's not going to be that hard. Even if you don't have fighting and you at least have a. Uh, what's it called? Uh, well, no, it's a little oh, bug. Yeah, I was gonna say it's not weak to anything because I was fighting. I'm like, no, that doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, here we go. So all we're gonna do is use a super potion now, and we should be ready to destroy Maxi. We can go for one more curse, but don't really see the point. And um, here we go. Lay the mighty Anna. And I was like, wow, we're out speeding our Anna, but it's, it's because it's paralyzed. <laughs> But, uh, yep, here we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And, you know, Embers are special because Fire is all special this in this game, so the boost won't do anything to that, but it will for Body Slam, so later, Mighty Anna. Yep, he's out of here. But, uh, I was trying to, trying to save it, but if he just wants to be like that, then we'll leave him. Here's Camera Up, I really like him. I've always saw as if he's like some milk carton for some odd reason. 
we might no. We've got some buffs yet. There we go, it's not gonna do anything. But I've always saw like camera ups, like there was three things on it. Like those three zeros. Um as like well, like, they're not supposed to be zeros, I don't think. And for some reason I just thought, like, with what's on top of his back and everything, like, he's, he looked like some milk carton or something, I don't know why. Because uh, the first time I ever saw him was in Diamond and Pearl, when he got to Stark Mountain. Um, there we go. Um, in the after game and everything, so it was pretty interesting, but here we go. This sea bat's definitely getting one-shotted. If we uh, can two-shot the camera up, so we should be able to one-shot you, Zubat. So as long as we go right through the confusion, which we don't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Zubat, you got nothing for us to worry about. We just took down two of all Pokemon. He could have evolved into a Golbat, but you know what, Maxi, you're dumb. So there we go. Zubat goes down, and uh, there we go. What? I Maxi was called. I've got. Yes, you were. So with that, we have ruined Team Magma's plans and, you know, they're going to skedaddle. There we go. Jamie, thank you for your help. We thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But you, whose side are you on? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. We will remain uh, vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. Jamie, we shall meet again. Honestly, I'm kind of going for Team Aqua. I feel like their uniform's just a lot cooler than... Uh, Team Magma, um, and they've just been very nice to us. So yeah, before you do go, make sure you do pick up the meteorite, as we're going to be using that for something later on. Um, so there it is, the meteorite found at Meteor Falls. Um, so there we go. We are all done in Mount Chimney, and uh, before you do go, if you talk to this lady, she'll give you a lava cookie, which is the exact same for, as a full heal, but it's for 200. Poke dollars, and I'm pretty sure the regular full heals are like 600. So honestly, if I were you, stop buying antidotes, ice heals, burn heals, everything, and just buy a lot of these. Just like the soda pops, buy a lot of lava cookies because it's a very good deal. There we go. I've bought 12, and with that, because you know it's not very likely that we're gonna use all 12. But yeah, next time. We are going to be going through the Rugged Path, I'm pretty sure, um, is what it's called. Jagged Path. <laughs> I was close enough, and making it to Laverage Town and exploring the place. And there we go. That's what we're going to be doing next time, so with that, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.